What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random, and in today's video, the Hobo Cop gets its lift. Guys, I originally was not gonna actually make this video because unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you step by step how to lift your Crown Victoria, but, but I figured if you are in the market for lifting your Panther car, I'd kind of leave a couple of links in the description down below and show you a little bit of what actually goes into lifting a Panther car. And it's actually not as hard as I used to think it was. Right here, everything that is sitting on the hood of this car is everything you'll need to lift your Panther car. This is a full-blown three-inch lift kit, and it comes from Universal Car Lifts. There is their phone number, there is a website, it's easy as that, universalcarlifts.com. As you guys can see, they don't just only do Panther cars. You know, they, they work on the bubble Chevys, even though I'm not gonna be putting that on 26s or anything like that, but you, you get what I'm saying. Now, the process to actually lifting this car is is relatively simple but it is very time consuming so for the sake of saving time and for the sake of doing this thing the right way i'm going to be taking this car to a shop to have this lift kit properly installed if you guys have the time it does bring instructions as well you can knock this out on a weekend maybe in a day if you have enough people and the right tools essentially the premise of these little uh, spacers and cups right here is actually pretty simple the lift spacer cups they actually install between your strut tower and the front of the car and then in the coil springs in the rear just so you guys can have some kind of idea what the hardware looks like it's a custom made black powder finish this thing is not going to rust super durable it's made out of very high grade steel i'm turning this thing into like a baja car into an off-road rally car um, I want as much ground clearance as possible, but, but if you're trying to install bigger rims, uh, 26s and up, the lift kit will be the way to go. I wanted you guys to have some kind of idea on how to lift your Panther car if you guys are interested in doing that. Like I said, just check out universalcarlifts.com, link in the description down below. So I'm going to drop this off at the shop and then we're going to do a couple of before and after glamour shots. So by the time you guys see this car, it's not only going to be three inches off the ground, it's going to be sitting on some medial tires and it's going to be spread out wide. All right. So, so without further ado, let's, uh, let's work a little YouTube magic here and uh, do a little before and after, shall we? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the car that you once knew as the hobo cop is no more. I want to introduce you guys to the Magnum Opus or for those of you who don't speak Latin, the masterpiece. Look at the situation, they got me face. So as it turns out, there's a lot that goes into lifting a Panther car that most people that actually end up lifting these cars don't tell you. But as you guys know, I like to keep things transparent with you guys. So here is a small list, just a little bit of a small list of extracurricular activities you're gonna have to do in order to make your lift kit work. Along with the lift kit, you'll need a set of two inch spacers all the way around. Also for future reference, uh, just stick with 30 inch tires, not 31 inches like I did. The extra inch means you'll have to do some fender trimming and by trimming i mean lots of fender trimming both in the rear and front fenders as well that's not even the best part in order to make this lift kit work you'll have to modify both your front sway bar and your rear sway bar as well or just straight up removing them like i ended up doing to be honest, when you have almost a full six inches of extra width in each side of the car, eh, there really isn't much swaying going on at that point anymore.
there's still a lot more that needs to be done to this car for it to finally be complete. Once it's done, I'm gonna be bringing it back out to the woods to do a 24 hour survival challenge using this very car. And until that time comes, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one, take it easy. Yeah.